going to visit back-to-back -back farms here in the UK. These places, they operate in secrecy, but we're gonna bring a pair of eyes in there and show you guys what's actually happening. We're gonna go into this next shed. I can guarantee it's just as horrible as the first shed. So let's have a look. <gasps> oh my God. This is pure suffering. These are the feeders. These are the feeders. Look at the, how dusty it is in here, dude. Dude, they're all in there. So if you've ever wondered where the broiler chicks come from, they come out of these big parent breeder sheds where they, they have uh, the cockerels, the roosters in with the hens, and they actually, the roosters fertilize the eggs uh, from the hens and they actually go off to, to hatcheries to hatch. I think the uh, hens will usually lay their eggs up here. There's a conveyor belt here for the eggs and the eggs go roll down here and they get packed and sent to a hatchery where they'd be incubated and hatched. So this guy here, he looks uh, absolutely exhausted, ill, he's got no feathers on his body, he's not even reacting to me sitting next to him. Usually a rooster would be walking away and, but he's really, um, he's not well at all. I mean he's crouched over in a little ball. If you look at this rooster's eyes, you can see the sadness, like you might think chickens are not expressive. This rooster here is, looks sad and broken and exhausted and I don't know how long he's been in here for, but he just looks devastated and in pain and just over, over life, just depressed, sad. That's what I see from this bird here. This is a horrible place. Look what it does to these, it breaks these poor birds down until they cower on on the floor like this. This this grate here below it is just kilograms and kilograms of chicken feces. So he's living on top of his own feces like you know there's just eggs in here, birds hiding in the in the grates here like it's just horrible man. Like how can the farmer walk through here every day? see these sad animals and just think everything's okay. If these were cats in this facility, dogs in this facility, you know, it would just send the entire UK public into outlaw and there'd be, there'd be an uprising, you know. It's because it's, these are birds and people just don't see them as worthy beings. People don't see them as, uh, you know, worthy of the slightest bit of respect. Like this bird here, you can tell has been through the worst life. It's ridden all over this bird's face. It's just such a sad existence. Their only way out is the slaughterhouse. <gasps> Bro, there's a dead chicken here. Right here? Here, right here. Oh my God. I don't know how long this bird's been here for, but he's rotting right underneath all the other birds. And this is very common inside a factory farm, but this is a parent breeder shed. You know, this is, a, this is different to a, you know, just a meat facility. But this, oh my God, he's been dead for a while. He's starting to rot, like, You know, does a farmer even walk through here and not see this rotting bird? It's just sad, mate. It's sad and it's disgusting and these, these birds have to live 
with corpses underneath them, feces underneath them. They're getting burned from the ammonia. They're, 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 their behinds are all red. They've got gashes and scratches all over them. You know, imagine the suffering that this rooster went through before they died. Imagine the suffering. Like, this rooster suffered to death. There's no question. It's disgusting. You know what I'd love to do? Take this rooster and dump the rooster on KFC's dining room floor in front of all the patrons and say, this is what you pay for. This suffering of this, you know, innocent bird born into facilities like this, suffered the most horrible death so people can have chicken wing, chicken sandwich. They want the eggs, the fertilized eggs, to create the chicks that turn in to the chickens that will be murdered for your chicken wings. Disgusting. <laughs> bird here has gone down she, she's got lame back legs and she can't even stand up her back all her feathers are gone she's lame see she can't walk but uh, the rooster's obviously a lot bigger than this hen and that's why she's been mated repeatedly and she's got no feathers also her legs have given up and she can't stand up properly so she's walking around like she, she has to just glide through this feces with their lame legs. Their bodies just, they are deformed. Look how painful that must be for this bird. She can't even stand up. How painful that must that be? Why would you put a bird in so much pain and suffering and misery just so you can have a chicken sandwich? Look how, look how much pain and misery this bird is in, you know? This is pure suffering. She can't even stand up. This is what human beings do to these animals. Look how red raw this poor baby is. There. So we just found this uh, hen here. I'm not sure what's wrong with her legs, but she just is laying down, can't get up. Um, she looks injured or exhausted or something wrong with her wings. She's been attacked by another bird or something. But um, it's definitely her foot, her leg. You get a lot of down birds like this in the shed. You really do. It's not uncommon. I can see a bunch of birds have got big bloody wounds on the side of their body and that's from the, the larger roosters mating with them and that's, that's probably what happened to this hen here. A rooster was on top of her and just injured her. They're a lot bigger than the hens. Um, there's too many in, in one spot. Right behind you. Did you get that? We just, uh, a rooster was literally just on top of a hen then mating with her. It's It's... They're incredibly rough, and um, look how many hens there are in here. So what's essentially happening here is that these hens do not want to be mated, but the, the roosters are just in a position of power and they can force themselves on the hens, and they can repeatedly mate the hens without the hen wanting to be mated. It's just, so essentially these hens are being repeatedly raped. That's what's happening here. Like before you saw the hen on the ground, couldn't move. The rooster was on top trying to mate with the hen. This, this is just a massive, you know, enclosed facility where hens are repeatedly raped, where uh, roosters are just exhausted and almost what looks like they're dying on the side of the, the 
feces rack here where it's just massive amounts of shit, you know, clogged up. This place is just hell for non-human animals. And uh, human beings are the monsters who create facilities like this, torture facilities. And uh, the public, those who eat animal products, are the ones who are funding these facilities. So you put these places in business whenever you eat animal products, chicken breasts, horrible place. People call vegans extreme for, you know, not wanting to harm and exploit animals and eating a vegan diet and not wearing fur or leather or not eating chicken breasts. This place is extreme. Eating out of places like this is extreme. Supporting places like this is extreme. Just uh, horrible. Alright, so this has been a UK parent breeder broiler farm. So that was disgusting in every way. I feel completely sick. Rotting birds, injured, bloodied uh, birds with scratches all over them, lame birds, uh, ammonia burns all over the birds. You know, just a murmuring of suffering animals. You know, the combs, you can just see how unhealthy the birds are. I mean, I've never been in a facility like this before. I've never been in a facility that is specifically for breeding and for fertilizing eggs. And this was eye-opening for me. And uh, please think about what's happening down the supply chain, guys. Where do you get your chicken from? Where do the eggs come from? Okay, Th those chickens have to hatch from eggs. And this is where the eggs come from. Horrible hell holes, you know.